guaranteed things that I feel like no matter what business you're in, especially in Amazon, that you're going to need to do if you want to grow. And these are things that you can do and execute soon, like immediately. Some are immediate. Some of them are going to take a, some time, but we're going to go through those. And I'm going to just literally give you three simple steps that you can do to grow your business sooner than later, like right now, literally now. Um, these are steps that I've personally taken that have been game changers. Changers, game changers from going from $2,000 a month to $5,000 a month in your pocket. Those are the kind of game changing things I'm saying. Now, what you're not going to hear me saying is that that happens overnight. It doesn't. It takes two, three, four months to catch up to what you're going to invest in. So if you have an investment portfolio, for example, you put your money in and you continue putting your money in and you don't check the, hopefully, <laughs> you're not checking the stock market every single day because these are long-term investments. You're not looking at it going, oh my gosh, we're up today. Oh my gosh, we're down today. Oh my gosh, we lost 10%. Oh my gosh, we're up 25%. We don't look at the day to day. What is the long term goal? And after three months, every quarter, you can reevaluate. Are you on track? Are you off track? How are, are you? Are you tracking towards those goals? Are, do you even still care about the goals? So sometimes people don't even have them or don't care about them. And they're like, oh, I've made all these decisions and I'm just kind of circling the wagon because I'm being busy and producing and being productive and making progress is totally different. We can be busy and actually be doing absolutely nothing. I don't, I mean, some of you are probably like, how is that possible? Or some of you are like, yes, I do that every day and wonder what the heck happened. We can be busy doing things, but not making progress. And I really just want you to make progress if that's what you want. And now this doesn't mean that life isn't going to get in the way. It means that when you have time to sit down and work on your business, that you are working on the most important things because time is money and time is precious and so is money. So we might as well be focused when we do have the time. So simple steps to grow your business. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. If you want to grow, you're going to have to invest. And when I mean invest, I don't just mean, when I, most people think of investing, they think money. And yes, there's some money involved to be investing, but there's something that major successful people that continue being successful in their lives do. And after evaluating all this stuff and reading, I read a lot of, I watch a lot of documentaries. I read a lot of different things about people who have all kinds from music to sports, to political people, to, you know, civil activists and all these kinds of things. I'm fascinated with people and what they do and what they're passionate about. And upon my studies of these, and this is like what I do in my spare time because I find it fascinating. I find it very cool to learn about people and how they, their rise to the top or their rise to the bottom and then back to the top, all those kind of things. And one of the things I've seen is that no one that's successful does it by themselves. So if you're currently listening right now, and you don't have anyone working for you or working with you or subcontracted or freelancing or a warehouse or something, that is one of the first moves that you need to make. Stop doing everything yourself and stop assuming that it's going to be too expensive for you to hire help. You are smart, you are capable, you can hire help. You've all hired help before in your life. Even if you're a stay-at-home parent, stay-at-home mom, maybe even if you're 20, you've more than likely hired someone to do something for you. Have you ever been to the dry cleaners? Have you ever had DoorDash? Have you ever had Uber? Ever had your lawn mowed? Ever paid a 